The Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency is a parastatal under the Federal Ministry of Water Resources. The ministry is one of the ministries created by the Federal Government of Nigeria in 1976 to formulate Nigeria's water resources development policies and coordinate their implementation in the country. Since then, it has evolved many times in its over four decades long history. In the year 2015, President Mohamed Buhari's quest to reposition the water sector in line with actualizing a critical element of the transformation agenda led to the appointment of engineer Suleiman Hosseini Adamu, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, fellow Academy of Engineering, as the Honorable Minister of Water Resources, a position he has occupied till date. Since this appointment, engineer Suleiman Adamu has achieved milestones in the ministry and agencies under his watch, including the over-significant annual flood outlook forecast by Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency. The Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, NISA, is located in Abuja as an agency of the Federal Ministry of Water Resources. It was created to satisfy the need to deal or urgently carry out several hydrological activities which are time-bound. Such issues as flood, early warning signs, which cannot be dealt within the bureaucracy of the Federal Civil Service. The agency has the statutory responsibility to undertake hydrological services for assessments of Nigeria's vast water resources through collection, collision, storage, analysis and dissemination of hydrometrological, hydrogeological, water quality, data and information for water resources development and management. The Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Engineer Suleiman Hussein Yedamu, speaks further on the landmark activities of NISA. One of the key problems I identified with NISA when I came into office is that the density, I mean the spread of our hydrometrological stations uh, is still very low in the country. Uh, uh, we are not even, we don't have even, I think, up to half of what we require in terms of hydrometrological stations. These are stations where you measure rainfall, you measure river flow, temperature, and so on. And that is what you use to be able to, to do all your hydrological calculations. Remember, even if you're a highway engineer doing a culvert, would require hydrological data at a particular stream because he needs to know how much water is flowing across the, across the stream and be able to determine what size of culvert will work. So when you see culverts overrun or bridges being overrun by, by floodwaters, you know that the hydrological calculations have not been right or probably there has been no hydrological data available for that to happen. And that's one very important aspect of NISA. Uh, so what did you do? We, we, we found that there's a lot of constraint in the budget, the national budget. They don't usually get all the money they need to be able to provide this, this hydrometrological station. And even to modernize them because now you have hydromet stations that are that you can operate remotely they are linked to satellite imagery and uh, in a for city here in abuja you can measure uh, the, the the flood level anywhere all the amount of flow we have some of them like on river niger in lokoja in miami we're working with the niger Basin for it but we need many more of these nicer is also a research-based institution that provides data on the nation's water resources to maintain hydrological services. NISA was established on 16 May 2007 as a parastatal of Federal Ministry of Water Resources. The Act was published in the official Gazette No. 100, Volume 97 of 34 August 2010. The present Director General of the agency is Engineer Clement Onyeso Nze. The vision of the agency you know, to create a dynamic and advanced hydrological services for Nigeria, which will have capabilities of facilitating and supporting, harnessing, controlling and preserving our surface and groundwater resources in Nigeria. 
basically issues about surface and groundwater in Nigeria. That is the division of the agency to give correct, adequate, and reliable data with regards to each of them. The agency provides the services required for assessment of the nation's surface and groundwater resources in terms of quantity, quality, distribution, and availability in time and space for efficient and sustainable management of water resources of the country. The agency is also required to operate and maintain hydrological stations nationwide and carry out groundwater exploration and monitoring using various scientific techniques in order to provide hydrological and hydrogeological data needed for planning, design, execution, and management of water resources and allied projects in Nigeria. We are primarily a research-based organization. So, so much has been done by the agency when it comes to establishing hydrological stations where you collect real-time data to do various forecasts. We have a lot of particle stations to be able to advise dam managers, to be able to advise those who are into irrigation. Like we have the departments in the, in the main ministry, we share data among ourselves. The issue of water availability, you want to irrigate a certain number of hectares of a farm. You want to supply water either through groundwater or surface water. So the agency has, by its activities, been able to step up what is going in this direction so that we don't have abortive projects like uh, maybe even those who sink boreholes. We give adequate information as to where and how such boreholes could be sunk. As a result, the agency provides information on the status and trends of the nation's water resources, including its location in time and space, extent, dependable quality, and the possibilities of its utilization and control through the provision of reliable and high quality hydrological and hydrogeological data on a continuous basis. Such information is generated through the following activities. Assessment of the nation's vast water resources with dedicated technology to enable a safer water. Providing data and information for planning, design and operation of water projects and other facilities or allied projects. Monitoring the impact of non-water sector activities on water resources. Providing security for life and property against water-related hazards such as flood and drought through forecasting and related activities. Providing information and management of transboundary water bodies. Operation and maintenance of hydrological stations nationwide for gauging of surface water points. Groundwater exploration and monitoring. According to the Director General of the Agency, Engineer Clement Insei, the agency used to be a department in the Federal Ministry of Water Resources called Hydrology and Hydrogeology, but due to the type of assignment required of the department, which needed to function without bureaucratic bottlenecks, it had to be taken out of the ministry to become a full-fledged agency. He said that Nigeria is divided into eight hydrological areas or bases to be able to study the entire country adequately. The agency has eight zonal offices. Each zonal office per hydrological area. The zonal offices are located at Sokoto, Kaduna, Meiduguri, Yola, Makodi, Ibadan, Enugu, and Port Harcourt. Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, NISA, is structured into five technical departments and one admin and finance departments. The five technical departments are Hydrology, Hydrogeophysics, Hydrogeoinformatics, Engineering, Hydrology and Operational Hydrology, the agency is able to carry out groundwater exploration and monitoring using various scientific techniques 
to provide hydrological data needed for planning, design, execution and management of water resources and allied projects. The functions of the five technical departments are as follows. Hydrogeology, access to groundwater of the country. The hydrogeological mapping gives an overview of the hydrogeological aspects of this country in that they produce these pubs and they are accessible to stakeholders in the water sector. Hydrogeophysics. Nationwide geophysics is the program used to find water under the ground in two environments, basement and sedimentary formation. They have peaceful use of nuclear technology in water resources development and management, which they use to get the information on recharge, mixing, collusion, and whether the water is young or older. Hydrogeoinformatics. This deals with data management and information dissemination for the end users of hydrological data, which harnesses, processes, and carries out information dissemination for end users of their products. Engineering Hydrology. In line with the mandates of the agency, this department operates and maintains the network of hydrology monitoring stations, which are located along major rivers in the country and the transboundary rivers which is river niger and benue the data collected from these are archived processed used to update the written core and it forms an integral part into the two models used for annual flood outlook operation hydrology this department performs twofold assignments to manage the surface water to mitigate the effects of drought and flooding coordinates international relationship with other organizations such as WMO, UNESCO. The department undertakes several projects and programs uh, which collect important hydrological and hydrological data that is required for the planning, design, execution, and management of water resources. We have a number of programs and projects uh, one of these projects is nationwide geophysics. Nationwide geophysics uh, studies the underground water resources. You know, groundwater is hidden and you cannot easily see it with your naked eye, unlike surface water. So we have to devise a means of locating this water under the ground. And there are certain equipment that we use to locate this water under the ground. Uh, we use a trimeter, which is an equipment that is used to send an artificial uh, energy or power into the ground. And this energy is reflected back to the surface when it encounters a boundary contrast between different rock formations. So the energy is sent back with an image of that rock boundary, which is now processed into an information that we now interpret into aquifers. On the local scene, the agency collaborates with National Emergency Management Agency, Nigeria Metrological Agency, National Orientation Agency, and state emergency agencies. On the international scene, the agency collaborates with UNESCO, International Atomic Energy Agency, World Meteorological Organization, Niger Basin Authority, Lake Chad Basin Commission, European Space Agency, Sahara and Sahel Observatory. These and other sub-regional organizations work with the agency in the area of shared data and water resources assessment. There is a greater synergy, collaboration between this agency, the Nigeria Agricultural Service Agency, with the relevant agencies of government like the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, National Emergency Management Agency, National Orientation Agency. So there have been proper collaboration, including the space agency, NASDA. But they were here. Um, last week 
again, there is a bringing into the system the universities where we be sending students that carry out specialized studies. We have an MOU with many, many universities and they have been sending also students for training here, knowing that here is a training ground for hydrologists or hydrogeologists. Some have gone outside the country. Other collaboration we have with international organizations like uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency pursuing PhD programs under the collaboration between NISA and the International Atomic Energy Agency. So such a thing is going on and we, we hope to do more. The agency recently made a public presentation of the 2021 annual flood outlook on the 6th of May 2021 in Abuja. In the events, the Honorable Minister, Federal Minister of Water Resources, Engineer Suleiman Hosseini Adamu, Fellow, Nigerian Society of Engineers, Fellow, Academy of Engineering, stated that the management of hydrological extremes is a fundamental prerogative of the ministry. He further said that the theme of the 2021 annual flood outlook, managing flood for sustainable development in COVID-19 era, is built on the successes of the previous eight years of forecast by NISA, and that the outcome of this forecast has been the increased awareness by the citizenry with respect to measures that need to be taken before, during, and after the floods. He enjoined the Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency, NISA, to intensify its flood sensitization activities, combined with the dispensation of the flood mobile app, thus minimizing the destruction that may come along with the floods. It is a fundamental prerogative of our ministry to manage hydrological extremes as best as we possibly can. We are doing this by controlling the water flow in our streams and rivers to make them less destructive through construction of structural arrangements such as dams, reservoirs, artificial lakes, etc. This is completely complemented by an equally important application of non structural measures such as the annual flood outlook, weekly flood forecast, floodplain mapping and sensitization of the rest of them by the Nigerian Hydrological Sciences Agency. The outcomes of this forecast have been the increased awareness of the citizenry with respect to measures that have been taken before, during, and after floods. This has culminated the progressive reduction in the severity of flood and its harmful effects on lives and property. Massive awareness has been created within this short period of time you've mentioned when it comes to preparedness towards the flooding incidents in Nigeria. It has become the talk of the town that people, whatever you are doing has to revolve around human beings to be profitable. So people are now much better aware, enlightened, educated with regards to safety to avoid losses, losses of loss of life and property, and dislocation from their uh, economic activities and so on and so forth. So that there has been a better awareness. And this, the, the Honorable Minister of Water Resources, I think he is the minister that has, more than any other minister that ever came to the ministry, that has done this work of uh, presenting to the public our annual flood outlook. I think he had done it about six times. Now. The agency, Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, headed by engineer Clement Inze, with the able hands and dynamic leadership of the Honorable Minister, Engineer Sleeman Adamu, has achieved milestones in the water sector in actualization of the transformation agenda of President Muhammadu Buhari's administration. Some of these achievements are Marinot College Groundwater Mountain Bohol in Okoko Oguja Cross River State, Bohol Monitoring Station in Eboin State University, water projects in four northern states, drilling of tube wells in Daura Local Government Area Casina State, 
installation of data collection platforms, installation of atomic absorption spectrophotometer and other components at NISA Laboratory Headquarters Abuja, establishment and equipping of hydrological modeling center. Under the World Nuclear Organization, which is the, the, the watchdog when it comes to weather issues all over the world, the, this agency has been rated among the best NISA in writing to, you know, to appreciate what the agency is doing. That it has been quite momentous that the present regime has given enough support to hydrocarbon services in Nigeria as obtainable in other more developed countries. Nigeria has placed itself on a good map, on the map of the nations of the world as an agency that is carrying out timely information with regards to hydrocarbon activities. It is worthy to note that from 2015, the agency has been repositioned to deliver efficiently on its mandate and through its studies provides the country yearly annual flood outlook, which is to guide every community in their activities as it relates to flooding and drought. It has developed a mobile app since 2020 to aid in flood. In NISA, water is key, so the work of the agency is paramount. If you want to develop a dam, you need hydrological data, irrigation facilities, highways, airports, drainages, hydropower also require hydrological data. One that is very current is the issue of flooding, which has taken a toll on the Nigerian population in terms of death, loss of properties, loss of agricultural lands like in the year 2020. More than 450 hectares of land was submerged in Kebbi state alone. Over 50,000 houses were destroyed in Jigawa. NISA makes the prediction for these happenings and we urge Nigerians to heed the warnings. NISA, Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, provides accurate data and information on the status and trends on the nation's water resources.